She was asked nicely by her BFF, Toke, to stay off the internet and give it a break. But of course, she couldn't do that. She was on Instagram the same day, if not the next day, posting her BS. Now today, she's back on YouTube, of course. And this time, she's cussing out her own mother. Yes, cursing out her own mother. Whew. Y'all, I'm not even going to say a lot. I'm not even going to say nothing else. Just hit the like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to comment below. Oh, here we go. I have been rescuing sex traffic victims for 20 years. The way I do my job is to be invisible. I can't brag about all the people that I've seen because it was supposed to have never happened. See, everything in my life has to be a secret to protect the people that I serve. I made a promise 25 years ago. And I've been keeping it ever since. 
the amount of emotional capacity that it takes to rescue a human being from hell to see the desperation in their eyes because of what they've been through see I get it because I've been through it which is why I do what I do because I don't ever want to see a motherfucker look like I looked when they came and got me beaten bloody no Y'all don't fucking know shit about me. You stupid motherfuckers. You, all you've been doing is believing what I've created for you to see. You're fucking right. I am a failed singer. I have to be. I have to be able to move through the shadows. I have to be able to notice. Be noticed and not noticed. You don't fuck about no Grammy. I've saved 75 lives. Fuck a Grammy. Fuck that me. I ain't threatening that stupid bitch. Or her kids. I just reminded my husband the danger that he had just put them in and now they will stay in because they know me. And they've been running around online bragging about how they will tell all my fucking secrets. My secrets kill people. You fucking asshole. They will follow that girl. They got her phone number, dummy. Them two Sicaria that's been hunting us in fucking Cedar Hill, you bitch. You fucking killed that girl and her fucking unfortunate kids. What the fuck? Don't fucking scare me like that. I'm lying. Jesus, mom. Fuck, mom. I should have locked the door. There's another bathroom. Only in my life does this happen. In the middle of my truest confession, my mother busts in the bathroom while I'm ass naked to use the toilet when there's another bathroom. And people think I'm a bad daughter? Fuck out of here. I'm at work, mom. Please make this the last time you come here. Fucking child. Just wandering around, doing whatever. But you couldn't put all that food away that I bought last night, all right? You left that out to rock. So fucking tired of you. I swear to God, you lucky with my mom. You lucky with my mom. You really are. You lucky with my mother. Go wash your hands in the oven, please. But the mother, she... Yeah, I'm a terrible fucking daughter, stupid bitches. Everything and nothing of everyone and no one. You honestly think if I gave a shit about this artistry shit, for real, for real, that I would let y'all run a foul of my name like that? You honestly believe that? You get no fucked out music? It's just something I can do. Being an artist was a perk. It gave me time to have fun when I wasn't working. 75 human beings I've successfully saved from being trafficked and relocated them with new identities. 
almost two thirds of them came from the music industry. So me being an artist was useful. Still is. Up until now, this has been the greatest secret that I've ever kept. And now it's no longer a secret. And the reason why is because it's time for me to come out the shadows. All of this bullshit is forcing my hand. So fuck it, I'm gonna let the cat out the bag. I moved back to Shreveport. As my husband well knows. To announce that I, I will be running for mayor of Shreveport this fall. For 2024. This is my second home. I got two beautiful goddaughters. Taylor. And Raiden. Lady Ray. I've missed so much of their lives. I'll come back and forth, you know, but I want to see my guys who got to play in my fucking yard, you know. Shreveport could use my help. Yes, the charges are real. <laughs> They're filed right here in Shreveport in Louisiana. Now I'm going to tell you what makes that so special. My bad. That's the guys from Monkey Boss. I don't know. Uh, they just gave me a call. Um, probably about Sam's birthday present. Me and the fellas over there at Monkey Boss are cooking up something real special for Sam's 21st. He gets his first car. And they're going to they, they gonna, they gonna dress him down, yo. I'm so excited for that. So glad he's home so we can do that. Uh... Where was I? Fuck. Oh yeah, I ain't never get no fuck um, about a music career. See, what y'all don't understand is I've been pretending to be an artist. <laughs> well, recording artist. Because I'm, I'm an artist. That's without a doubt, without question. But um, I've been pretending to be a recording artist. So that I can rescue human beings from its nasty clutches. See, I did lie to y'all. For 25 years, I've been making you believe I'm something that I'm not. Meanwhile, hiding who I truly am. But it's time to come out from the shadows and uh, do some good in the world. I'm running for Mayor Shreveport. I hope you endorse me. This is me, completely transparent before you. All right, y'all, I gotta go. I gotta go. The fellas over at Monkey Boss.